Oh Lord, help me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yoon's worst nightmare. It's actually quite cruel. <laughs> <laughs> We've escaped Sofia for a few days and we're here in the gorgeous town of Melnik, which one of our viewers actually recommended we come to. Quite a few options for accommodation in Melnick, but we decided to stay at a really cute little guest house called Manoliva House, which is just kind of up the main street. And it was really a lovely place to stay. The room was gorgeous. There was a really nice deep bath in the bathroom. Um, it had amazing views looking out onto the gorgeous landscape of Melnick. Uh, also the hosts were really lovely and the breakfast each morning was really yummy and it cost about just over £55 a night um, for us both bed and breakfast so really good value um, and a really good choice. We've had some really good food since we've been here as usual the Bulgarian food did not disappoint so here is the best bits. Melnik is the smallest town in Bulgaria and it has a real kind of like sleepy villagey vibe. So it's really nice if you just want to come away and get away from it all, from the hustle and bustle of the cities. Um, we've been here for a couple of nights and on our first day, well our only really full day, we decided to take advantage of the amazing scenery on our doorstep and we went for a trek to a place called Rosen Monastery. It's about a four or five kilometer walk from here and um, as we get to it we'll also be walking through the Melnik Pyramids which is a really impressive rock formation that lies at the foot of the Perun Mountains. So that's where we're off to today. Let's hope we don't get lost. Hmm. We've only been walking for approximately one minute. <laughs> we're already confused as to where to go because there aren't really any signs. So there's like two, I read that you're meant to follow the riverbed, I think, but there's kind of two, I think this is the riverbed, because that's more like just a, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's do it. In order to get to the monastery, there's Rosen Monastery, there's two routes. You can go up the roadway or you can go this way. This is probably a bit harder, but the road is longer. So if you're coming up this way, just like follow the what looks like a, a river with sand in it, with no water. And these markers will keep you right as well. There's a few kind of walls and things to uh, climb over, but it's not too strenuous yet. The sand is kind of, it's like going through treacle a bit, but it's good. It's such a lovely walk and 
there's no one else around so it's really peaceful and yeah having fun don't know how much longer we've got to go to the monastery but i'm thinking still quite a while i need to work on my fitness definitely Bulgaria really does have so many hidden little gems and it kind of blows our mind how beautiful it is. So if you're coming, definitely get out of the city or the beachy area and, and see a bit more of the country because honestly it's got so much more to offer and this place is an example. It's just so stunning and you would not think you were in Bulgaria when you're up here. When we visit places and see beautiful places like this, I always get really excited about filming it, but I, I kind of forget to actually just take it in and go, wow. So that's what I'm doing right now. These sand pyramids behind me are so impressive. They can actually reach up to a hundred meters and they've just really been formed because of rain and erosion to the rocks. Now that we're coming down the other side of the hill we're kind of sheltered from the wind and honestly it feels like a summer's day, it's so nice and warm, it's really hard to believe that this is only February. You can't take any footage or any photographs when you're inside. I know this will make my dad smile because whenever my mum gets angry or fed up or a bit down, she always says, I'm going to shave my head and join a monastery. So, just wanted to let you know, I found one for you. It's a bit <laughs> out of the way, but <laughs> I'll stick your name down. <laughs> as far as monasteries are concerned, that was my favourite one. I've not been to a lot, to be honest. There's quite a lot in Bulgaria, apparently. But it was also nice because a wee black cat befriended me and gave it some biscuits. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but there you go. Um, but it was lovely and quiet and we went into the church, which kind of apparently was built around about 15th century. Different sections of the monastery were built at different times. Yeah, so if you are in Melnik, check it out. It did feel like such a peaceful place when you were in there and it was really quiet and just yeah you just felt quite at peace when you were in there which I suppose is how you're meant to feel really. So we're walking back via the road this time um, it's a seven kilometer walk back to Melnick. Melnik is well known for its wines. Again, one of our viewers actually told us that, so thank you for that. So if you're coming to Melnik, definitely stop off at the wine museum and have a little taste. white one. It's a blend of different grapes. <laughs> it smells really, really fruity. Mm, it's nice. It's not too dry, which I don't, I'm not a big fan of white wine sometimes because it can be really dry, but this is actually really smooth. So I'm onto the rosé now. It smells like strawberries. It's so nice. Mm. And this is a local um, from Melnick. Mm. 
Wow. That's so lovely. It does. It tastes like strawberries. Hmm. That's really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Probably not going to be my favourite one, I don't think. That's nice. This is a blend of red wine, Shiraz, Merlot, and what was the other one? Can't remember. Cabernet? Smell it. Oh Lord, help me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yoon's worst nightmare. It's actually quite cruel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bearing up. I've got flashbacks of South Africa, 2016 Cape Town. Good times. <laughs> so for anyone that's new to the vlog, Ewan doesn't drink. He stopped drinking how many years nearly ago? Nearly five years ago. Five, nearly five years ago, so this is a little bit cruel <laughs> to bring him to a wine tasting. Um, but he said he felt strong enough to do it, so he's here. He's just smelling and I'm tasting. Pretty dry, it's quite dry. Mm -hmm. It's tasty, it's nice. Mm. Everything in the museum is in Bulgarian, unfortunately, so we couldn't really kind of read the actual museum stuff, but they've got lots on display that you can see. Um, but the best part is the wine tasting. So I tasted five different wines, one white, one rosy, and three reds. And it was really good. The guy that um, works there was really nice and friendly. And I purchased a little bottle of rosé to take home. But unfortunately, our suitcase was already pretty much on the way when we came here. So I'm not sure. I might have to just drink this next week. Because <laughs> um, I don't know if we'll be able to get it home. But it was really cool. And he actually, like, I corked it myself. And then he sealed it with the wax, which was really cool, and put a little uh, sticker on it. So, and this bottle of wine costs 15 lev, which is approximately seven pounds, if that, probably less. So I'm feeling pretty happy with my purchase and a little bit drunk. We're just about to leave this beautiful place, but I read about a place called Skoka Waterfall, which I think isn't too far a drive, and then from there it's a short hike up to the waterfall. So we thought while we're in the area, let's go and check that out. We've made it to the start of the walk to the waterfall and it was pretty hairy, I'm not going to lie. I didn't read about any of this in any of the blogs that I read to get to this waterfall, but the roads are not good, like really bumpy, like off-road kind of thing. But it took probably about 45 minutes to drive here because we had to go so, so slowly. And then when we got here, we were like, where the hell did we park? Because it's literally the tiniest little place. But these two lovely men came and directed us. So we're now parked and we're going to go and walk to the waterfall. Hopefully it's worth the scary drive. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's scared. You okay? Oh, he's got his tail between his legs. What is that? <laughs> he's, just, he's just scared. No. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry I've not got any food for you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're being followed. <laughs> this happened in Gran Canaria as well. Keep an eye out for that vlog coming soon. As you go up the path, there's little signs in Bulgarian and unfortunately I can't translate them just now because I don't have internet but I will and I'll put them on the screen because apparently they're kind of little, witty little sayings as you walk up uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't knackered It's uh, pretty steep and our little doggy's following us Man has stormed ahead uh, to get to the waterfall, but I've been <laughs> trying to befriend the dog. Uh, he's pretty scared. Um, every time I go to pet him, he's kind of cowering. But he's still following us. Bless him, I'm not getting any food or anything for him. Um, oh, I feel like a responsibility now that the dog's following us that he's got to get something out of this maybe he'll let me near him enough to give him a wee pet and a bit of affection which I think he's sorely missed oh, I'm so glad we've reached the waterfall I was starting to think we'd maybe taken a wrong turn that's been almost an hour uh, but we're there so let's go and have a look I think we've picked the best day to come and visit the waterfall because one, there's no one else here and two, it's such a beautiful day, blue sky and when the sun hits the waterfall you see a rainbow in it and it's just so beautiful. So to get to the waterfall we had to go through this kind of track, it was pretty bumpy and hilly and full of leaves and I don't think the dog, who I've named Buster, uh, wanted to do that so I left him at the top of the track and then when we came back he's gone I'm devastated we actually realised we had some banana with us could have given him a wee bit of banana but we might bump into the littlest hobo <laughs> on the way back oh bless him, bless Buster have you been to Melnick? if so let us know in the comments below or if you've been to this waterfall as well let us know and as always thank you for watching don't forget to please subscribe to the channel it's completely free of charge and we will look forward to seeing you next friday mm -hmm.